Brooklyn. Hi, I'm Kerry, KB9AIT, and along with Terry and 9 aot we are Wolf River Coils. This is our new Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet HV antenna. All you have, it comes with 20 feet of wire, our standard silver bullet, which has the grooves in it just like the rest of them. One side is ground, one side is the hot side. Uh, the ground side will go to a ground rod, and the hot side obviously goes to the center of the coax. This is 20 feet of wire. All you do is take the nut off the top, put the eyelet on there, put the nut back on, tighten it down with a wrench, and in a second we'll demonstrate how easy it is to put this up. Now we call it the HV antenna because it is horizontal or vertical. You could use this as an attic antenna, and we have tested it that way. Today we're going to use it as a vertical antenna uh, in the yard. Again, this is the Wolf River Coil HV antenna, all stainless steel. And now let's uh, have Terry show you how easy it is to put up the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet HV. Hi, this is Terry N9AOT, and he's going to demonstrate how to put up uh, our silver bullet in to a tree and a, in absence of a tree we're going to use this 24 foot fiberglass push-up pole. So Terry, show them how easy it is to put that up. With the idea that we've already got things all measured out, it's easy to put up, but obviously if you had a tree you would just sit there and just fling up straight into the tree and away you go. But right now, Wires up. Wires up. Now we're going to take this, hook it up to our ground rod. And what we've done in our ground rod is we drilled a small hole for a uh, number 10 machine screw. Pop that right on in there. That takes care of the ground side. Oops, as well as the coax ground. Obviously, you got to make up your own coax cable for this. As you can see, the hardest part is putting the coax on. Okay, now we got everything all together. We just simply tighten everything up. We're grounded over here. We'll adjust this to the. Of course, if there's a tree, it'd be tight already, but we're just going to pretend we have a tree. Okay, that's this antenna with this length of wire, and of course you can see we have the wire uh, strung up in our pretend tree. Uh, we can set this actually for 40, 30, 60, and 80 meters. Right now you can see we're set at 40 meters here. 1.4 SWR is about 7.176. She's pretty flat throughout most of the band, the 7260, and it's at 1.5. Now just give me a few seconds, we'll switch it over to 80 and show you how easy that tune's on okay. 80. So we were on 40 meters, now I'm gonna show you how we go to 80 meters by just simply sliding the tuning coupling down on our coil. Went too far, yeah, somewhere about there. And we'll see what we got for our SWR. So keep a little bit. Well, you see we're at the, about 38.95 or at about 1.5 SWR. It's just by quick sliding down. And we're going to get most of the 3800 band. And again, if you need to go a little bit higher in the frequency, just give it about a click up. And now you should be a little bit on a higher portion of the band. 39.20. And again, we're pulling about a 1.5 SWR, 1.4. Completely tunable from all of 80 meters, 60 meters, 40 and 30. And that's a portable antenna system. You can use it at a camper. You can use it uh, field day. You can use it for a QSO party. Anything you need to if you want to get up a portable antenna system on the uh, low bands. Okay. Now for more information on this antenna coil and the rest of our antenna coil systems that we sell, see us at www.wolfrivercoils.com, all one word. And thank you very much. See you on eBay.